Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you will write a program in Python to swap two nodes of a singly linked list. Now in this file called swap nodes, I have created a singly linked list from the example we had seen in the previous lecture. This file exists in the same directory as that of our singly linked list file because of which we were able to import both node and the linked list classes. Let's see how the output of this program initially looks like. We have called the print list method. Let's execute this program. That would be Python 3 if you are on Mac or Linux and PY if you are on Windows, paste the file name which is swapnotes.py. But before that, let me save this file. So now we see that we have the output as 4, 3, 5, 2, 7 and 1. We want to swap these nodes 3 and 7 such that the output of our linked list looks like this. It starts with 4 and the next of 4 points to 7, the next of 7 pointing to 5, the next of 5 pointing to 2, the next of 2 pointing to 3 and finally the next of 3 pointing to 1. So let's create a new function for it. Let's name this swap nodes. Now swap nodes will take three parameters. The first parameter will be the linked list which we pass. The second parameter will be the first data which we want to swap. Let me call it data1 and the second data will be the second data which we wish to swap. Let me call it data2. Now in this function, we need to traverse the list till we find data1. Once we find data1, that will be our first node and we also need to store the node previous to that. And then we once again traverse the list till we find data2. Once we find data2, that will be our second node and we also need to store the node previous to that. Let's see how to do that. So we first traverse the list. Let me make use of a temporary node. Let me call this one current node, which starts from the head node. Now we also need two additional nodes to keep track of the previous node. Now initially these two nodes are none. So let me call this previous first, which is initially none and previous second, which is none as well. So first let's traverse the list and find the first node. So to traverse the list, let's run an infinite while loop. And within the while loop, we check if this data one is equal to your current nodes data. So we have an if condition within this, if your current node dot data is equal to data one, then that means you have found the address of your first node. So let's store that in a node. So your first node will be your current node and then we can break from this loop. Now in case the current node dot data is not equal to your data one, then we need to advance to the next node. So that would be current node equal to current node dot next. But before we advance, we need to store the previous node as well. So that would be previous first equal to your current node. So when this loop breaks, you will have the details of the node with data one in first node and the node previous to that in previous first. Similarly, let's repeat this operation for our second node as well. So we will once again start a current node from head node. So that's current node equal to self dot head. And while true, this time we check if your current node is equal to your data two. And if it is equal to your data two, we store the details in the second node and then we break from the loop. And if it's not equal, we store the details of previous node in previous second and then we advance the current node to next. So when this loop breaks, your second node will have the details of node with the data two and your previous second will have the node that's previous to that. So this is how our linked list initially looks like. We have the head node as four, which points to three, three pointing to five, five pointing to two, two pointing to seven, and finally seven pointing to one. And this is how the final linked list looks like, which we had earlier written. Let me put this up here as well. So now we have the details of node with data three in first node, the node with data four in previous first, the node with data seven in second node and node with data two in previous second. So let's change their pointers such that we arrive at this particular linked list. So let me just mark all those nodes here. Your four is previous first, your three is first node, the node with data seven is second node, but before that, let me mark two. Two will be your previous second. And finally, seven is the second node. So once both the while loops break, let's change pointers. Let me mark it as changing pointers. 
So first, 4 needs to point to 7. Where is 4? 4 is in previous first. So your previous first dot next should now point to 7. And where is 7? That's in second node. Similarly, your 7 now needs to point to 5. Where is 7? That's in second node. So your second node dot next should point to 5. And how do you get the address to 5? 5 can be obtained from the next of 3. And where is 3? That's in your first node. So your second dot next will be your first node dot next. So we have completed this connection. Next, we need to complete 2 to 3. Now, where is 2? 2 is your previous second. So your previous second dot next will be equal to 3. 3 can be obtained from your first node. Now finally, the next of 3 needs to point to 1. So the next of 3 can be obtained as first node dot next. But how do you point to 1? 1 was earlier stored as the second node's next, but we had changed the second node's next. So before we change second node's next, let's store that in a temporary node. So let's call that next second. Now all that first dot next needs to do is point to the next second which is the node with the data 1 and that completes the connection. So now let's save this program and execute it to see if it works as expected. But before that let's call this function from our main function that's your swap nodes to which we pass our linked list and the data 1 which is 3 and data 2 which is 7. So now let's save and execute this program. Let's open our terminal. Now on execution we have an error, let's see what that is, it says name self not defined. <laughs> Looks like I'm too used to writing methods within a class. This method swap nodes is outside the class because of which we do not have self here, what we have is the linked list itself. So we need to change self as linked list dot head in both the places. So now let's save and execute it once again to see if it works. Now this time on execution we see that it works. We have the first node 4 and this time the next of 4 points to 7 and the next of 7 points to 5, the next of 5 points to 2 and the next of 2 points to 3. So now 7 and 3 have been swapped and we have a result. Congratulations if you have been able to do that all on your own but even if you haven't been able to that's alright you will get there with a lot of practice. So that's the end of this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture where you will learn how to sort a singly linked list. Thank you.